I recently set off on an overnight adventure camping trip to explore some beautiful hot springs in Arizona. The purpose of the adventure was to test out some new gear while also documenting the ride. Episode 3 of this 4 part series will be focused on my review of my new sleeping bag, the Teton Leaf Zero Degree Mummy Sleeping Bag. Today we're going to do a review of the Teton Sport Leaf Zero Degree Sleeping Bag. I've done a few sleeping bag reviews, uh, one for typical reasonable weather, one for warm weather, and this is going to be the cool weather sleeping bag. And it's actually the one I'm taking on my six month United States motorcycle trip. Now today we're actually in the middle of a four part series. This is part three uh, of a little couple day ride out to some hot springs. So while we're kind of getting things ready here, I just want to go over a few things about this. The temperature rating on this sleeping bag is zero degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, and it packs down to 15 by nine inches. It's definitely not the smallest sleeping bag I've used for motorcycle camping. However, it is the coldest rated sleeping bag. So the extra size definitely makes sense. So I have this sleeping bag stored in a 30 liter dry bag. Uh, that did not come with the sleeping bag, but it just makes packing my bike a little bit easier. So it came with a pretty neat stuff sack, but I needed something that I could store on the outside of my motorcycle in all weather. Now, even though I have used this sleeping bag once or twice already, twice, uh, I am going to do an overnight review of this sleeping bag. Um, just give it one more thorough test before I give my opinion on it. However, I will say uh, this thing is super comfortable. The loft on this thing, it just, it just fills up and it's just cushy and it's really wonderful. It's very comfortable. Um, it is extremely warm though, so it is not for hot summer nights. I will say that. The weight on this bad boy is 4.2 pounds. Now, just to put this into perspective, I've actually been carrying two sleeping bags all winter. Anytime I go camping, uh, because my old sleeping bag just wasn't warm enough. So I doubled up on it and had two of them. The total weight of that was close to six pounds total. So I've actually shed two pounds by jumping over to this one. It's going for $75 on Amazon. That's really not bad. I think it's a pretty good value for what you get. Extra stuffing fill in the foot box for added warmth. There's a full length zipper draft tube. There is an anti-snag zipper and webbing. A neat feature I like about this is that it comes with hang loops for easy storage, but really, I like using this to air out my sleeping bag in the morning. There's a pocket for your phone, which I learned is good for keeping your phone warm so it doesn't lose its charge overnight. So I've been doing this kind of like three or four part series where I'm kind of on this adventure where I'm testing out some gear and I'm doing reviews as I'm on the adventure. So basically, I'm getting ready for the sun to go down any minute now. I just finished cooking dinner and I used up all my water. So there's a little creek behind me. I have to go fill up. Uh, we're gonna get a fire going and then I'll do my full review in the morning uh, once I've had one more night with it just to see uh, for sure that I'm not giving you a bad review. Or not a bad review, but rather a not thoroughly tested review.
Hey, so uh, this is pretty scary. <laughs> This is so terrifying, but I'm literally just looking at like a dozen sets of eyes just staring back at me. I can hear them kind of trampling around off in the distance. There's a full-on herd of cows making its way through my campsite right now. This ought to be interesting. Man, it just it caught me off guard because I heard something moving. I didn't realize they were cows right away. Can't believe how comfortable they are just walking over towards me like this. They're all just staring at me. <laughs> scary. I just don't want to get trampled. I mean, it's not like they're, you know, vicious, scary animals, but they could do some damage. Well, I think I'll just leave them alone, and then uh, hopefully they, they take off in a little bit. Okay, a little update. Uh, just kind of relaxing around the fire. Uh, pretty peaceful night other than the cows, who seem to be working their way away from me, hopefully. Uh, something tells me that is not the last I am going to see of them. Wow, these stars are amazing. <sighs> I keep seeing my bike. The uh, I keep seeing the reflection of my headlight. Got marshmallows in it. Update. Cows are back. These guys are so persistent. Ugh. I mean, I'm just nervous that they're gonna start trampling or they're gonna get freaked out and stampede over here. There's a lot of them. These cows are killing me. They just stampeded right through my campsite. Ugh. That's a heck of a way to wake up in the middle of the night. It's pretty cold out still. Those cows were driving me crazy last night. <laughs> they finally went away at like probably three o'clock in the morning. I kind of stopped hearing them like right outside the tent. There was some things going down though. I don't know what they were doing. They're just trampling around and making crazy noises. Anyways, this sleeping bag is incredible. It's so comfortable. I don't even want to get out of out of this thing. Normally, I have my my sleep in shades on, and I'll sleep like this, um, just so the the sun doesn't wake me up like 
first thing in the morning, but I had a lot to do today, so I didn't want to sleep in too much. And the sun just came up like maybe 40 minutes ago. I was just kind of excited about the day. I just want to get the bike packed up and hit the road. Still got a pretty decent distance to cover before I get to the hot springs. I need some coffee. <laughs> Anyways, the sleeping bag is amazing. It got, it got chilly last night. I left part of the rain fly open because when I went to sleep, it was pretty warm. I figured, let me get some fresh air in here and uh, that way I can keep an eye on what's going on outside at some point. Probably around like 11. The temperature dropped and the cold air was just like rushing in the screen because uh, I didn't have the rain fly closed, blocking all that wind. So it got pretty cold in here. Normally the rain fly kind of traps all the heat in. Even as cold as it got last night, this thing was toasty warm. I mean, like really, really warm. And you can kind of see, I mean, it like, it lofts up so much. And it adds so much to this um, already awesome sleeping pad. Yeah, one of, one of the things I really like about this sleeping bag compared to some other ones that I've used is the size of it. Um, it's like, it's wide enough that I can move around freely in it. Um, I don't feel restricted or like it's tight around me. But even though it's loose, it doesn't, it doesn't seem drafty at all. Like there's no breeze coming in. It's, it's still sealed up, but inside the sleeping bag, it's just really, um, it's really warm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this thing, and uh, the silk liner was great, too. I don't know how much this added in terms of warmth. I camped out the other night, uh, maybe two weeks ago, without the silk liner, uh, and it dropped down to about the same temperature, and, and I was really very comfortable. Um, this maybe added a tad bit of warmth to the sleeping bag, but not... Not a significant amount. Uh, the reason I have it is uh, just to keep the sleeping bag clean for longer. It's easier to pull this out and wash it once in a while than it is to wash the whole sleeping bag. Anyways, as much as I want to go back to sleep and stay in the sleeping bag all day, I'm going to uh, brave the cold and hop out of here, go make some coffee and start getting ready for the day. Uh, that's about it for this video. My overnight camp out and review of the Teton Leaf zero degree sleeping bag. Uh, it's, it's an awesome sleeping bag if you're going places where it's going to get a little cooler. Um, if you're a taller person uh, with broad shoulders or you're just a little girthier, um, the extra room is really nice. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Anyways, if you like this video or you got anything out of it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. That way you don't miss anything whenever I post something new about motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where, hopefully, I will be making it out to the hot springs later today in the next video. Alright guys, see you later. So, just to give you an idea of how cold it got last night, I just flipped this over because I saw that there was some condensation on it. Um, so I flipped it over to air it out on the tent like this. So this is actually the underside. And when I flipped it over, I realized this is all ice. And, uh, Sleeping bag held up great. Yeah, so it got it got pretty cold last night.